Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, everybody. Hi, Miss. Yes, can I hear, can Hi. I hear you? How are you? Can everybody hear me or are you having trouble hearing me? I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah. Okay, good, good. What about the others? Can everybody hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi guys, welcome. Thank you. How is everybody? Hello. So, Josue, how are you? Josue, Josue Alberto, can you hear me? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Thanks. Um, good to see you guys. Nice. I'm happy to see you. Um, let me say hi to Elsie. Elsie Janet, how are you? Very good, teacher. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Happy. Uh, we're in the middle of the week, so it's nice. It's <laughs> nice to be able to, uh, okay. yeah, just finish one more day and then uh, one more day of the week, and then we're closer to the weekend, so that's nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, hello. Hello, Fabiola. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. So, um, hi, good evening. Uh, how are you, Fabiola? I'm fine. Good, good, good. I'm happy to hear that. How was your day today? Sorry, I can't hear you very well, Fabiola. How was your day? Um, very. <laughs> Sorry, pretty what? I was, I was uh, heavy. It was good? It was okay. stressful? Okay. okay. Well, I'm glad to, I'm glad that you were able to connect. I'm happy about that. Okay, and um, let me say hi to Juan Francisco. How are you? Juan Francisco, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I tired. You're fine. I, I, I can hear that you are very Happy in your house. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Uh, finally, <laughs> yes. That's good, that's good. Okay, good to see you. All right, let me say to hi to Manuel Montoya. Manuel, are you there? Manuel Montoya, are you there? Yes? Hi. I think he's having trouble there with the with the audio. Okay, and um, Carla, Carla Cano. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hi. Oh, wonderful! Now we can hear you. Okay. How are you, Manuel? How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Okay. And Carla, Carla Cano, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Hello. Good, good. All right, excellent. Um, Andres, how are you? Fine, teacher. We're okay. Good, good. I'm happy to hear that. And Elsie, I know 
I already said hi to Elsie. Um, let me see. Suleyma. I haven't said hi to Suleyma. Suleyma Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, teacher. Good. Thank you. Good, good. I'm happy to hear oh, that. So okay. Julio Cesar, welcome. Can you can you hear us, Julio Cesar? No? Julio Cesar, can you hear us? Or maybe I'm yeah, having trouble. Maybe he's having trouble with the with the microphone. Okay. Uh, Fabiola. Uh, Fabiola and let's see. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Medici. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? How are you, Jennifer? I'm so tired. Really? Why? What happened? I I have no. Uh, I want to sleep, but I have an English class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we all. Uh, I think many of us agree. We would love to be sleeping right now, but you know, <laughs> there's always something to do. So I'm I'm happy that you chose the best thing. Thanks. Right. I know that you know every, everything that is important in life is uh involves a sacrifice right so sometimes we have to sacrifice ourselves but it's worth it at the end so okay. thanks for for making that sacrifice okay good all right um edgar can you hear us now edgar are you there yeah hi teacher good evening hi good evening how are you fine same teacher Good. I'm glad to to um, I'm glad that you were able to join us today. Okay, let me see who else. Uh, Marvin, Marvin Mufedo. Are you there? Marvin Mufredo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good teacher. Good, good, excellent. Um, are you able to turn on the camera, Marvin? Yes, teacher, wait a moment. Oh, okay, wonderful, all right. Okay, while um, you do that, let me start taking attendance. So let me see, let me see, just give me a moment. Okay, so we are on, today is, Let's see, today is the 10th. Okay, so let me take um, attendance. We have Alejandra. Is Alejandra here? Alejandra Maria, no? Okay, all right. Uh, Andres Giovanni? Yes, yes right? Sure. Okay, good. All right. So let me write that down. Um, Edgar, I also saw Edgar, right? Yeah, Edgar is here. Um, Elsie, Elsie, Thanks. Janet is here, right? Perfect. Okay. Um, Fabiola is here as well. Okay. Um, and uh, Francisco Javier. Mm, let me see, Francisco Javier is not here, right? No, just the other Francisco, but Francisco Javier, no. Okay. Um, let's see, we have um, Irene. Azucena, Irene, 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 no, no, okay. All right, um, Jennifer is here and Josue Alberto. Josue Present Alberto. teacher. Ah, there he is, okay, good. All right, um, Juan Francisco, also I saw, yes. Uh, Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Yes, I saw you. Julio Cesar, I also saw. Uh, Carla Cano, Hello. I saw, yes. Here. Okay. Carla Noemi Lopez. Carla, Carla Noemi? No. Do we know anything about Carla Noemi by any chance? Because um, 
I haven't seen her, so I don't know. I don't even know who she is. <laughs> okay, so I guess, well, she, she's not here today. Okay. Um, eh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel. I'm here, teacher. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. All right, excellent. And uh, Manuel Man Montoya uh, is also here. Okay. Uh, Mariela de Los Angeles. I don't think I saw her. No. Okay. Um, Marvin. Marvin Rifedo, I saw. Listen. Okay. Um, and Werner. Warner is not here, right? No, I haven't seen Warner yet. Okay. And um, Soila. Soila. Soila Noemi. No, right? Okay. And Suleyma Yvonne. No. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I was almost going to put you absent. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So I got everybody. I think so. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, what we're going to do right now, um, just to get you guys, um, just get, to get the, the, the ball rolling and everything. Um, hello. Good evening. Let's see. Oh, Francisco Javier just came in. Okay. Um, Anybody else that just came in? I think that was it, right? Only, okay. All right, so anyways, um, let's continue. Like I said, um, eh, we are going to, today we're going to be um, starting off, I know you guys, um, it's in the middle of the week, so we're going to get you guys um, active and everything. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna just play a little fun game here. Um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a word, okay? The word has to be, um, well, better said, uh, the word can, like, I'm going to give you any word, okay? To give an example, let's say, imagine that the word is um, English, okay? So I'm going to, I'll, I'm going to show you probably in the chat. So if you guys open the chat, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I right now I have sent the word English to the chat, and you will notice that the word English finishes with the letter H, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to be, um, I'm going to be, choose, I'm gonna choose a, a next person, okay? Let's say that the next person I choose is, um, I don't know, um, Andres, Andres Giovanni. Okay, so the next person, um, which is Andres Giovanni, is going to say another word in another word that is in English, starting with the last letter of my word. So, for example, in this case, my word is English. So, Eng what is the last letter of the word English? S. H. H. H, good, exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, so Andres is going to say a word that starts with the letter H. Okay, so okay. Andres? Uh, hello. Hello, good. All right, so we're gonna say hello. And hello finishes with what letter? O. 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 Exactly, it finishes with O. So then Andres is gonna choose another person and that person is gonna continue with the game with the letter O, okay? Do, okay. do you understand how the, the game is played? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Good, excellent. Okay. Now, the only thing is there is a catch. The only thing is that, first of all, you cannot repeat the words. Okay, you can repeat the words. So if somebody, okay, so somebody, I, somebody again says an, another word with the letter finishing in letter H, you cannot say the word hello anymore. Okay. Now okay. the second, the second thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be 
making sure that you do not repeat, sorry, that you, you do not um, take more than five seconds, okay? So you have five seconds to give a word. If you repeat the word, or if you take more than five seconds, you have a penalty. What is the penalty? Okay, yes, exactly. We're gonna have different penalties, okay? So each time somebody has a penalty, we're gonna have different penalty, okay? So we, you're, you don't know what your penalty is going to be until, we, uh, until you get the penalty, okay? Got it? All right, so the idea is don't get a penalty. Okay, that's the idea. Don't okay. get a penalty. So you got to think quickly and you got sure. to make sure that you don't repeat the word. Yeah. Who is selected a person? Yeah, we're uh, sorry. Who is selected a person? The person. Who is oh, selected the person? The person is going to be selected uh, with the person before. So, for example, I'm going to start the game. So, uh, so, for example, um, I, I said, okay, I started the game, I said English, and I chose Andres. And then Andres said hello, and now Andres, you're going to choose another person. Who is the next person? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Carla Marta. Okay, then Carla Marta would continue the game with the next word. And you, so you have to really, so you have to really be paying attention because your name can come up at any moment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so you have to, uh, like, you have to be thinking of the word. Oh, yeah, this word, this word, right? Think about it because maybe you will be the next person. Okay, so you got to be really thinking quickly. You only have five seconds. Okay, five seconds, that's it. All right, so are we ready? Okay. 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 Do, we under, do we all understand the rules of the game? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Per so we're going to start. Um, um, th that was just a, a demonstration. Okay. And um, just to make this a little bit quicker, we're not going to be writing in the chat. That was just for a demonstration. And instead, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be uh, just doing it verbally. <laughs> Gonna say it. Okay, ready? Here we go. The word is participant. And we're going to start with Jennifer. And uh, letter E, I think, uh, mm -hmm. elephant. Participant. I don't understand. Participant, what is the last letter of participant? E? Letter E? No, that's in Spanish. E. E. Participant. E. T, e. e. very good. Okay, so you're going to have to say a word with T. Uh, letter T. Uh, tomato? Good, excellent. Continue, Jennifer. Five, choose the next person. Person. Mm, let me see. Yes. <laughs> Fabiola. Unmute yourself. Able. Uh -huh. Table, teacher. Okay, table. Very good. Table. Who's next? Teacher. Come on quickly, huh? Quickly. Yes. Uh, no, era the last the last letter, the word. Um yes. Uh, Jennifer say tomato. Right. And Fabiola, what did you say, Fabiola? 
Teacher is the last letter. The last letter, that's right. Other. Huh? Other. Other, yes, very good. Okay, next. Next person. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> uh, the tick tac, tick tac, tick tac, tick tac. Right. Hello, uh, listen to me. Yeah, we can hear you. Right. right. Sorry, what was the word? Uh, uh, right. And right. from the uh, yes. Ah, right, okay, right. Okay, good. Next, next word. That's uh, so our next person. Uh, Francisco Javier. Okay, Francisco. Jose. Sorry? Jose. I, I Thursday. Didn't... Thursday. Huh? Thursday. 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 Okay, Thursday. That sounds good. Good. Thursday. Who's Carla Marta. Yesterday. Manuel Rodriguez. Um, yellow. Okay, next person. Um, mm, Suleyma. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, window. Uh, next person. Uh, Elsie Janet. Okay, window. Perdón, Wednesday. Window dijo Suleyma, ¿verdad? Wednesday. Wednesday. Did we already say Wednesday or no? No. No, okay. All right, okay, good. Okay, next person. Uh, next person, Josue Alberto. Thank you. Can I use yet? Yeah, of course. Mm, Julio Cesar. Taxi. Next. Uh, Marvin. Thanks, I am. Sorry? I am. I am. Yes. Um, but I am is not a word. That's a phrase or yeah, oh, okay. phrase. So uh, it has to be a word. Thanks. Good, next. Uh, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus, Angel. Manuel, can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, take. Take. Sí. Yes, perdón. Take. Yes, take. T A K E. Okay, remember the word is intense, and intense finishes with the letter E. Yeah. Mm. 
<clears throat> eat them. Chicken, did you say? Information. No, the letter E. The letter E. E, e. e the, the, um, the Eduardo. Ah. All right. Okay. Give five seconds. Five. <clears throat> four. Ten. Three. Huh? And. And. Okay. End. Good. And. All right. Next person. Uh, Alejandra. Um, dinosaur. Good. Next person. Um, Edgar, ya pasó. No, no. Okay. Um, um, Texas. Dinosaur, I think it was, right? Dinosaur. Teacher, no, no Texas. Five. No, dinosaur. The dinosaur is finishes in an R. Oh. R. Tick tock, tick tock. Five, mm. four, no, sorry, sorry, I two, no, 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 okay. no, 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 Time's over. Time's over. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. What penalty should we give him? All right. How about, um, Edgar, your penalty is going to be to count backwards from 30 to one. So you're gonna count backwards, 30, 29, 28, et cetera, et cetera. And going back to number, until number one. Penalty. Yes, penalty. <laughs> Um. So you're going to count, you're going to count backwards from 30 to, thir um, to one. So 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 26. So, but tiene que ir detrás de, de, Detrás, para adelante, o sea, de la, del 30, 30, 29, etc. etc. Bueno, el mercado central de Santa Ana se está incendiando. Mm -hmm. No, so, no, ahí sí no, 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 no entiendo cómo sería la, la penalidad. So, so, the penalty is to count. You have to count from 30 backwards. Okay, so you're counting from 30 to the one. So you're going to be going, like, like you said in Spanish, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, and going back. Okay, Sir, uh, 13? No, 30. 30, sorry, okay. Uh, 20, 29, 28, 27, 26, 20, 24, 20, 23, 20, wait, 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 wait. 20, uh, what was after 26? Uh, 26, 25, 25, 24, 23, 22, uh, 20, 20, and 19. Wait, 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 wait. Se me comió otro. <laughs> huh? 22 comes after 22? Uh, dije 20, 24. 20, 25, uh, 24, 22, 
1918, uh, 1917, uh, 16, uh, 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10, um, 9, 8, um, 9, 8, and 7, 6, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2. Wait, 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 wait. Six? Uh, six, five, six, five, um, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Woo! Yay, excellent. All right, very good. Uh, okay. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay. All right, Edgar. Okay. All right, guys, um, so you, I think everybody had opportunity, right, to pass. I think almost everybody did. So um, what we're going to do, and since you already um, had the opportunity there, we're going to continue on with the next part, okay? For the next part, um, we're, well, I'm going, we're going to be checking um, our homework, okay? So let, just let me show you something right here. Okay, can everybody see my PowerPoint? Yes. 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 Good. All right. So here we are. Um, this is the beginner number four. It's the number eight. And today is Wednesday, March 10th, um, 2020. Wow. I can't believe we're, we're like three thirds of the way in March. Like I'll say about the minute of March. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. So anyways, um, I asked you guys to do this for homework. Everybody did this exercise for homework? Yes. This was um, uh, on page 22. I think it was 22. So everybody did this exercise. I asked you to complete questions. Okay. And so what I want you to do right now, you're going to, you made the question, right? To give you an example, maybe you wrote, maybe you wrote, um, can you, can you, um, a, yeah, can you give me your address, please? This is just an example. Okay, I mean, you didn't have to write this. This is an example, right? Or could you, could you spell your name, please? Right, or can you, Can you um, tell me your email address? Or could you please, or could you um, Right. Could you write your last name backwards? This is, I'm just I'm being silly with this one, but do you understand? Uh, write your last name backwards? No, teacher. You know what that means? I'm just being silly, but um, it backwards just means like al revés. So could you write your last, your last name backwards? Yes. Eh, ¿Podría usted escribir su apellido? ¿Podría escribir su apellido al revés? Right? Something like that. Right? <clears throat> I'm just being really silly with you. But the idea, what I'm showing is um, that really the, 
the questions here, this is um, was your homework, right? And what I want you to do here is now you're going to be asking your partner the questions and I want you to write their answers over here. For example, can you give me your address, please? And you maybe say, for example, Colonia, um, I don't know, Colonia, give me a Colonia. Colonia, I don't know. You can read. Well, okay. Well, we'll use Colonia as Calon because that's where um, English Corporativo is. And um, so we're going to say Colonia is Calon. If, I don't know. Um, Seven, eh, calle El Mirador. Example. I don't know. Uh, that's just an example. Okay. So the idea is that you're going to you're going to be writing your part. You're going to ask your partner the questions, and you're going to be writing their answers. Okay. Does that make sense? Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yes. Sounds good? Okay, all right. So let me put you guys in two groups. Let's see. Um, oh, welcome. I just saw Werner. Welcome, Werner. Um, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Werner, are you able to turn on your camera today? Yes, teacher. Perfect, okay. Uh, all right, so. All right, so I'm going to get you guys to work in groups. Uh, well, uh, it's going to be pairs, but um, there's going to be one group of three. Okay, so um, let's create the groups, and I'll give you um, I'll give you ten minutes to do that because remember you're going to be asking the question writing the, the answer. And then your partner is gonna ask you the question and you're gonna answer, okay? So here we go, let's open up the rooms. Okay. Okay, Elsita. Uh, can you tell me? Oh, sorry, girls, I just wanted before before anything, I wanted to tell you something. Um, because there are three of you, what I suggest is, for example, uh, we can have um, Yvonne can ask Carla, Carla can ask uh, Elsie. Janet, and then um, and so Janet, you can ask Yvonne, yeah? So instead of asking the two people, just ask one person. Creo que así va a ir más rápido. O sea, que solamente le pregunten a una. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yo, uh, Yvonne, Carla, and then Carlita, así. Okay. okay, can you tell me, uh, Yvonne, can you tell me your billing address, please? Okay, my billing address is uh, Colonia El Palmar, Block B, number 10, Santa Ana. Vamos a llegar a visitar el fin de hoy. También. <laughs> okay, Sandra. What? Sorry, guys, to interrupt. I just wanted to tell you something. Um, because there are three of you, what you can do is um, instead of asking, for example, instead of asking everybody the question, for to give an example, um, Josue, you can ask uh, 
you can ask um, Francisco Javier, and then Francisco Javier, you can ask Marvin, and then Marvin, you can ask Josue. Yeah? Okay. So, like that. So, okay. it's, it, it's, so that it doesn't take too long, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay. I'm Marvin. Yeah, uh-huh. What do you think about uh, the first question? Mm, I tengo duda. About? Mm, todavía no tengo claro el del can y el cool. Okay. Okay. Can is used for the present and could for the past, for abilities and for permission. So can, uh, you say, for example, I can drive, right? It means that I have the ability to drive. Okay. Or I can, um, I don't know, I can, it, I can wear jeans to work. I have the permission of wearing jeans to work. And then could is in the past. Um, in the past, I could, I could, um, uh, I could ride a bike, but now I can't ride a bike. I forgot how to ride a bike. Okay, or for example, um, it could also be about permission. Uh, before in my job, I could um, wear any clothes I wanted. Now we have uniforms. Okay, so we can we can use um, we can use can for the present and could for the past for abilities and for um, permission. But it's also possible to ask for when you are asking polite questions, you use can and could interchangeably, independent if it's a present or the past or any, it's gonna, it can be can or could. It's like when you say in Spanish, puedes o podrías. Like for example, eh, puede, puedes darme tu nombre? Me podrías dar tu nombre? Right? So it's just, it's just more, more being polite. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, I know that cool is more polite, but in question, you can use uh, any any word or I don't know if it's, it's a yeah. rule in a specific. You can use, yeah, absolutely. You can use can or could, you d you decide, it's up to you. But um, know I, that, that um, could is definitely more polite. It's just a tiny bit politer. Okay. Okay, like this? Could you use my car yesterday? No, because that is not well. Well, yes, it, but that would be more like that was more like an ability. Like, pudiste usarlo? Pudiste usarlo ayer? Um, se, te encendió? Lo pudiste usar? Right? So that would be more like the ability. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? That is not so much of a polite question. Well, when I say polite question, it's more like, like in the present. ¿Podrías ayudarme con esto? ¿Podrías eh, decirme tal cosa? Et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. All right, um, so guys, continue working and I'll, I'm gonna go in and work with another group, okay? If you need any okay. help, just ask for the help. Javier, in the first questions, uh, who do you? Hi, Warner. Warner. Hey, teacher. Hello, Manuel. Eh, eh, Warner. Eh, 
se escapó. Eh, <risa> no, just no, no, no. Eh, eh, had a, a, a call, a cell phone call. He had a what? Is your boss? Eh, tu una llamada telefónica del jefe. Oh, okay. Okay, his boss called them. Okay, I understand. Okay, good. Are you almost eh, finished? Eh, yes. En ese caso era responder las preguntas en base a la, a la... Bueno, responder las preguntas que usted había generado, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh, no, no, not necessarily those questions. It could be any questions. Um, you were supposed to do this for for homework, right? So it could be any question. It doesn't have to be that particular. Yeah? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any questions? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Um, okay, uh, right now, since uh, the majority should have already finished um, asking the questions and answering, I'm going to give new instructions. So just give me a moment, I'm gonna write them down. Okay. Okay. Um, did you did you get a, a message, Manuel? Can you see Can you see the message that I sent to everybody? Excuse me, Tisha. Can you see the message that I sent um, in the chat? Eh, no entiendo mucho, dice. Eh, ¿Puede usted ver el mensaje que mandé? A ver. A ver. No, chat. ¿El chat? Ajá, no, no le sale. No, solo el primero que envió, que fue si hay English y Hello. Ah, de veras. Hmm. 
Ok, bueno, déjenme ver si no los han recibido. Voy a tener que llamarlos a de regreso al, al main room. Ok, so I'll be back in a moment. Ok, so um, continue working. Ok, All right. ok, ok. Hi guys, do you have any questions? Uh, how do you pronounce bottle? Botella? Bottle. Bottle. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. bottle. Um, question. Um, tengo una pregunta para ustedes. Eh, ¿Pueden ver ustedes en el chat un mensaje que mandé? Les llegó, les llegó un mensaje. Sí, sí salió, pero ya no está. Solo en un momento que lo escribió salió. Y ahorita ya no se ve. Mm. Ya no lo pueden ver. Ahorita ya no. Ok. Ok, entonces ya voy a tener que ver la instrucción para la próxima actividad, pero... Como al parecer se borró rápido, voy a tener que mejor um, traerlos de vuelta a la sala principal y explicarles. Ok, all right, so I'll see you guys in a moment, ok, in the main room. Ok. Okay, all right, guys, um, welcome back. Um, everybody had a chance to ask the questions and answer the questions? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, any problems? No, teacher. Okay, so it's clear how to use um, polite questions. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Any anybody want to ask something? No? Okay. Perfect. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is I want you to I well okay, let me oh okay. I want you to imagine and that you want to, uh, you want to, you're interested in the product or service that uh, that they offer at your classmates' workplace. To give you an example, okay? Let's say, uh, let me see, uh, Carla. Hi, Carla. Uh, I have a question for you. Where do you work, Carla? Hello, teacher. I work in Burger King. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, Carla works at Burger King. So what products does um, Carla sell at, at, at her workplace? But, well, obviously they sell uh, food, right? They sell burgers, they sell, I don't know, whatever thing more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Carla questions about the products that they sell in her workplace. And I'm going to ask you, for example, could you tell me how many different burgers there are at Burger King? To give you an example. Or um, can you tell me uh, how much 
the the cheapest burger at at uh, Burger King costs. To give an example, okay. So you can ask questions about the product or the service using can or could. Do we understand? Is that clear or no? Yes. 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 And what happens then uh, um, if we don't sell anything where we work at? Well, there's everybody either sells a product or a service or knowledge, right? That's, that's basically, uh, you know, in every workplace, that's the only thing that you can do business with. You can either do business with a product, with a service, or with knowledge, right? Okay, so you can ask about the service or you can ask about whatever it is that they do at that place, okay? For example, I do not, like my job, in my job, we do not sell a product, right? And we don't, uh, we don't really sell a service either. We sell knowledge, right? That's what we know, right? That we sell that, right? So. It, maybe in your in your classmates' um, workplace, they do not sell a product, but they sell a service, right? Maybe the service is I don't know um, income tax, for example, right? They that's a service. They do the income taxes, right? Example. So you're going to be asking about your classmates' workplace. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, okay. Okay, so I'm going to, once again, make the groups. Let's see, let's um, recreate. Okay, and we're gonna open, yeah, we're gonna open it up for probably a little bit less. Open it up for eight minutes and seconds. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, join your groups. Can do the teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. I we lost. <laughs> we don't understand the indication. Uh, Instructions. Well, a little uh, discussion went well, a little bit, but uh, I lost. Okay, no problem, Jennifer. It's okay. All right, Jennifer, where do you work? I work in Galvaniza. Okay. Galvaniza. What does Galvaniza do? Uh, we sell structures, metallicas, metallica structures. Metallical stru structures. Good. Okay. Manuel, where do you work? Where do you work? Mm, they are, uh, a constructor. Constructor. In, constructor. In, oh, wow. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect. Because, <laughs> Jennifer, you, in your workplace, you sell metallical structures. Okay. And Manuel, in his workplace, they do construction. So you are going to be, you're, you're, you're involved in the same area, right? So Manuel, you're going to be asking Jennifer about the metallical structures that she's that they sell at her workplace. And Jennifer, you're going to be asking Manuel about the construction in his workplace. Mm -hmm. So you're going to ask me them questions to get more information. Could you tell me, um, can, can you give me blah, 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 blah? Do you understand? 
Maybe a bit. So, okay. okay, for example, I can ask, but let, let me write in the chat so that you can see it a little mm -hmm. bit better. Okay, so for example, Jennifer, I can ask you, um, can you tell me, um, can you um, tell me uh, what metallical structures you sell? at work, okay, so there you go. Can you tell me what mechanical structures you sell at work? Okay, or I can ask Jesus, could you, uh, could you give me the address of your workplace? Yeah? Yeah. Or, uh, Manuel, uh, can can you um, can you uh, build or no? Can you let's say can you um, yeah build or yeah, let's say build yeah build uh, or build a pool in my house from your workplace? Can I ask you workplace? Can you build a, sorry, it should be say a pool, not pool. Just say, could you build a pool in your house, in my house from your workplace? So, because you you said that you are in construction. So can you make a, uh, can you make a pool in my house? Okay, et cetera, et cetera. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so go ahead and ask your mm -hmm. classmate, okay? Okay. Okay. Vamos. Hi, Warner. Hi, Irene. Sorry, I, I went to the bathroom because Warner, I didn't answer. I don't know what happened with him. Oh, so Werner has not been around? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. All right. Well, work with me then, Irene. Okay. Work with me. All right. So okay. tell me, Irene, where do you work? I work at the Fruit of the Loom Company. Okay. All right. So we have lots of things to talk about. All right. So, Irene, sorry, can you tell me what products you sell? The, the uh, of the I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. Yes. For, uh, it's the work teacher. Is uh, I, I got a call from work. Oh, okay. uh, it's a uh, difficult of the federation. Okay, it's I guess it's is one problem. But that's it. Yeah, como se dice? Ya terminé. Ya ya se resolvió. Okay, good, good. And uh, Warner, do you have the camera? Yes, teacher. En ese okay. momento, que como con el teléfono recibí la llamada y con eso me conecto. Es... Okay, okay, I understand. But if you can turn on the camera, that'd be great. And you can continue working there with Irene. Did, okay, do you teacher. understand the instructions? Uh, I know, teacher. But, um, uh... Okay, so what you're doing is you're going to be asking your classmate questions about a, about their the products at their workplace. So Irene, she works at Fruit of the Loom. Yeah. So 
Fruit of the Loom, it, they sell many products, right? And um, you're going to ask Irene questions about the products. Where do you work, Warner? Uh, the products and uh, my work is uh, foil, mask, uh, guantes, <laughs> gloves. Gloss, wow. yes, jacket, uh, jacket, uh, electric jacket, uh, passant. <laughs> yes, the products, the uh, what's it? Products, sport, sports oh. products. Yeah, sports products. Yes. Ah, okay. okay, good. So you sell sports products. Okay. All right. So Irene's going to ask her questions about the sports product. Okay. okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead, talk. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. tell, tell me, Warner, ask me, ask me. Yes. Uh, la pregunta sería, uh, the, the question is, uh, teacher. Starting the, with uh, can or could? Uh, can I do? ¿Se escuchó? No. ¿Can you call a code? Code. I don't wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have another question? No. No more question. <laughs> I am free. <laughs> okay. And... Let me see. Citala. Citala is a city or it's a, how do you say pueblo? Town, town teacher, or yeah. It's a small town. A small town. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you live in Citala or do you? I live and work in Citala. Oh. Where is Itala? It's near from La Palma. Oh, okay. Uh, For some reason, I, had the, I was under the impression that Citala was in another country. Uh, there is a, a town in Mexico that has the, the same name, but uh, how do you say acento in English? The stress. The stress. Stress. Citala uh -huh. uh -huh. in several houses. A center in Mexico, it doesn't have. So in Mexico, it's. Citala. Citala. And here is Citala. Citala. Mm -hmm. And the other one yeah. is Citala. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. When, you, when, you when you search in Google Maps. Uh huh. Uh, you, you find the two places. Oh, how interesting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And but is, is it close to the border, though? Is is your, are you close to the border? Yes, we are in the border. Oh, the okay. Uh -huh. uh, for the border from Honduras? Yeah. How far point, away is Honduras? Uh, the first city is uh, 10 minutes. By car. Uh -huh. By car or walking? Uh, walking maybe uh, one hour, I think. One so. hour. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Don uh -huh. In Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Do you go to Honduras often? Before COVID-19, but yeah. now I, I have to. Well, I, I think, can. yeah, uh -huh. I think no one goes out very much after COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah, can. okay. You need to check. Uh, yeah. Um, that's proof. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna call everybody back. So I'll see you guys uh, in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.
Okay, guys, um, good. I hope you all had an opportunity there to ask your questions. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take again the attendance. Just give me a moment that this. Okay. Let's talk about this. Okay. Esta de rebelde, esta cosa. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, do I have a Alejandra? I think Alejandra. No, right? Here, here, here. Oh, there she is. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Ya por poquito le ponía que no. Okay. Um, no me está funcionando. No se lo voy a hacer a manito. My computer just got stuck. Okay. Um, so. Let's see. Uh, do I have? So Alejandra is here, and um, Andres Giovanni. Okay, good. Um, and uh, it got. It got. It got. Present teacher. Oh, there he is. Okay. Elsie Jeanette, I think okay. you are as well. Yeah, okay. And let's see, Fabiola. Fabiola Georgina, I also saw. Yes, Fabiola. And Francisco Javier. Francisco, yes, he's there. Here. Yeah, saw you. Okay. And um, Irene, Irene was. Here, presente. Yeah. Present. All right. Thanks, Irene. And Jennifer, I think I saw present. Jennifer is there. Okay, good. Um, Josue Alberto. Let's see, Josue Alberto. Oh, yes. He's present there. teacher. Good. Okay. And um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, and I have Julio Cesar. Okay, yeah. Right here, teacher. All right, thanks, Julio Cesar. Carla Cano. Carla. Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. And the other Carla is not here, right? Carla Noemi. All right. Oh my goodness. That's scary. There's police officer there. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro here. I'm here, teacher. Oh, uh, there he is. Okay, Manuel Alejandro. Okay, good. And we have Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus is also here. Okay. And let me see. Um, Mariel, Mariela? Maria de Los Angeles, not here, right? Present. 
Okay. And um, okay, Marvin? Marvin, Marvin? I'm here, teacher. Okay, there's Marvin. Okay. Okay, and we have um, Werner. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay. And Soyla, maybe? Soyla, Soyla, Soyla. All right. Okay. And Sulema, Sulema Yvonne is here. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is the following. Um, let's uh, take a look over here. Um, okay, let me know when you can see it. Can you guys? Can you guys see this? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. 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 Oh, good, good, good. good. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is um, here we have, this is a customer survey. Okay. And do you guys understand what a survey is? Encuesta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically a survey is like a questionnaire. Okay, like a question here that you ask um, people to get information about what they like. Um, you can ask questions about um, what the person's opinion is that is a survey, okay? So it's a questionnaire about people's opinions. And, yeah, okay, so and here it says here, read a survey about a customer's experience with a product, okay? And the first question, let me see. I'm going to ask different people to help me read. Um, let's start with uh, Edgar. Edgar, could you help me read the first question? Yes, teacher. Could you read the first question, number one? Uh, how uh, satisfied sat are you? Why this product? OK, satisfied. Satisfied. Okay. Yeah, good. Satisfied. Mm -hmm. Satisfied. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How satisfied are you with this product? Okay. And what are the options? Uh, this, this has, this has, this has this I think. Very. Okay. Well, so you can start with the, uh, from over here at the beginning. Very. Very. Mm -hmm. Very satisfied. Very. Satisfy. Mm -hmm. Satisfy. Mm -hmm. This this has this has this has satisfied. Yes. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied. Very good. Okay. All right. Do we understand these options? Um, Are all clear? Yeah. yeah. I understand. Okay. Good. What was the uh, so Edgar? What was the answer? that the, cu the customer gave? Um, very, very satisfied. Dissatisfied. What was the answer that they gave? The answer, what was the answer that the, that the customer gave? Satisfied. Dissatisfied. 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 Satisfied. Can you re this, repeat that, Edgar? This, this, this satisfied. Satisfied. This satisfied. Yes, dissatisfied. Exactly. Okay. Good. Okay, very good. Um, now let me ask, uh, let's see. Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, can you give me the answer from, uh, for, sorry, the, the question for number two and the options? Sure. Um, 
um, okay, I, I gotta get close here. <laughs> okay. Uh, rate your opinion about the product's qual uh, quality. High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. Okay, good, all right. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary? Average. Average means like, eh, you know, it's like, it's, it's not very, it means um, it's not the best, but it's not the worst, it's in the middle. Yeah. So, so. So, so, yeah, yeah. The word average actually literally means in Spanish, promedio. So it's like, eh, it's like, it's not wow, and it's not really bad, it's just, it's just there. And what was the answer, Julio Cesar? What, what was the customer's answer? Uh, the customer's answer was very low quality. Mm -hmm. Very low quality. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Now let's see who can help me. Uh, we're going to ask um, Yvonne. Yvonne, help me with number three, Yvonne. Okay. The value of this product is? Excellent, good, poor, very poor. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Questions about the vocabulary, anybody? Poor. Poor. Poor means bad. Okay, so when, when we're talking about poor, it's like the opposite of oh. excellent. Okay, so if we have excellent, it's like wow, like a 10. And poor is somewhere like, I don't know like a three, okay, so it's, it's, it's the opposite, okay, so excellent is over here, four is down here, can we understand? Okay. In Spanish, yes. what is poor? Uh, pobre, pobre, pobre oh, oh, malo, malo, malo. Ex exactly, and just like in Spanish, it can mean two things, it can either be like poor, like in the amount of money, that somebody has like like they, they don't have very much money that is somebody that's poor or it could also mean uh like a quality like the rating of the quality that it's low it's a low quality okay all right and finally uh, let me see who can help me he hasn't said very much today let's see who hasn't had opportunity um, let's see, Warner, help us with, with number four, Warner. Uh, number four, will you continue using this product? Mm -hmm. Yes or not? Good. And what was the answer that the, the, the customer gave? No. No, right? Okay. So, all right, so this is this is the complete questionnaire, the survey that the customer did. So according to the survey, Jennifer, what would you say? How was the customer's experience? Uh, it, about the number two, the example. In, yeah, it's it's yeah, exactly. The whole taking into account or thinking about the complete survey, mm -hmm. what do you think was the customer's experience? This um, this this satisfied. Yeah, dissatisfied. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So the customer's experience was not good, right? Like you can see from the answers the they were not satisfied with the product, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now question Manuel Alejandro. Um, is the product a good one or a bad one? Looking at this information, is it a product good or bad? Robot one. Uh, a good one? Yeah, in, 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 in general, in general, is the product a good product or a bad product? Good product or bad product? Uh-huh. 
and good product. Is this a good product? Remember, notice that the customer is dissatisfied. Uh -huh. Their opinion of the product, very low quality. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, it's a bad product. It's a bad product, exactly. Bad product. Yeah. Excuse me, yes. Yeah, exactly, it's a bad product because the customer is dissatisfied. They didn't like the product, okay? So the next question is, think about, about possible problems the customer had with the product. Why do you think that the customer gave these answers? What problems do you think that they could have had with the, with the product? Um, let me see. Uh, Francisco Javier, tell me what products do you think, sorry, what problems do you think that the customer had with the product? Okay. Um, the customer have the problem with, um, with a server. Uh, there is no good product for his. Is um, okay. The problem now, no, no, complete him. It's not that that he have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what what problems do you think he had with the pro with the product? Why do you think he he didn't like it? It's not a good quality. Uh, it's not a good quality. Okay, so maybe maybe the the product broke immediately, right? Because it's not good quality. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can that, be. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, what do you think? Let me see, Alejandra. Tell me, what other problem do you think the, the customer could have had with the product? Um, it looks cheap. It looks cheap. Okay, so maybe they, they ordered it online and they say, oh, no, I don't like how this looks. It looks very cheap, right? It doesn't look like it's good quality, right? Okay, yeah, that could happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Andres, what other problem do you think they could have had? Sorry, teacher. What was another problem do you, do you think that they could have had? What, what was, why, why do you think the customer didn't like the product? It's, it's not a, a good product. Mm -hmm. But why? Yeah. What do you think, what problems? What kind of problems do you think is possible? Mm, no, I don't know, teacher. So think about it. ¿Qué clase de problemas crees que tuvo con el, con el producto? Bad packing. Any, any problems you think that the, that the person had? Maybe the dimensions of the product. Uh -huh. What about the dimensions of the product? Of the product? Uh, for example, is uh, the, the person is buying clothes maybe the dimension of the clothes is uh, or, or are tight. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, that could that could be as well. Yeah, you're right. Maybe there was some clothes and, and the product was too tight. The, they, you, they asked for a large, for example, and maybe the large one was very small. Yeah, that could possibly. Okay, good. So what I want you to do right now I want you to think about the last time that you brought that you bought a product. Okay? The last time that you bought a product. Any any product. Okay? When was the last time? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que compraron un producto? Think about that product. And I'm going to I'm going to get you to work in groups and you're going to be passing the survey to your classmates. So you're gonna ask your partner, your classmates, how satisfied are you with the product? 
and they're gonna answer very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very, very dissatisfied. Rate your opinion about the product's quality, high quality, average, low quality, very low quality. The value of this product is excellent, good, poor, or very good, i oh, sorry, very poor. And will you continue using this product? Yes or no? So you're gonna be asking your classmate these questions about the last product that they bought. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. All right. And so we're gonna be working in groups and you can ask more questions too. So not just limit to, your, to those questions. You can also ask other questions. So let me... Uh, I'm going to recreate. I'm going to get to the working groups of three this time. And I'm going to open up. It's only going to be five minutes. I, I don't think we should. I don't think it'll take that long. Okay. So pass the survey to everybody. You're going to be asking your partner's opinions. Okay. Is, is that, are the instructions clear for everybody? Okay. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Yes, so ma'am. Let's open to the rooms. Okay, perfect. Um, it's okay. It's okay. How sad, how satisfied are you with this product? Yeah. Um, sorry, Jennifer. Is your camera working? Yes. It's just that we can see you. Sorry. I don't understand, teacher. Hello? No, we, we can't see. Okay, now now we can see you. I see. See. It's a break. See, I see the ver. Okay, any questions? Do we understand what to do? No, don't no question. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. Pretend I'm not here. Ignore me. <laughs> Voy a proyectar porque no se nos es más fácil. Okay. Perfect. Hello. Okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, question one. How satisfied are you with this product? Uh, in my case, it's very disappointing. Uh, Satisfied, satisfied, because I never received my product. Um, what product? Uh, I, I, I. What product uh, did, did you buy? Any product, but uh, for example, 
patitos de hule. Chuga. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think the shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, a blouse. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And dress and never decide. Never. No. For me, in this case, for a bad experience. Ah, okay. Number two. Uh, read your opinion about the product's quality. I don't know because I never <laughs> see my products, but uh, by by in this page, don't yeah. no no much, not much. Okay, Elsita. My friend, <laughs> hey. how, how satisfied are you with this product? Very satisfied. Nice. Great. Your opinion about the product's quality? High quality. The value of this product is? Excellent. Okay, Elsie, will you continue using this product? Yes, continue using this product, my squeeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much does the quiz cost? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. How much does the squeeze? <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta, vea? How much? Eh, yeah. The price is ten dollars. Really? A good, <laughs> a good, a good price. Product. A good product, a good price. And the shampoo, Carla? Ah, uh, the price is seven dollars with 50 cents, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the quality is excellent. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah because the, the product is natural. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good product. <laughs> Do you recommend it? Yeah. <laughs> In special to Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> And the teacher too. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Josue, how much the esteem? Oh, my cover. I um, five more to uh, nine point twenty five dollars. It's, it's cheap because I'm looking for that in El Salvador and will be cost 20 or $25. Oh, okay, very nice. And another, it covers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't worry about it because we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna go back to the, to the main room. So that's good. All right. And I'm glad that you guys asked extra questions. That's what it's about, right? So it's not just sticking to those questions. It's a, in your everyday life, you're gonna ask more questions, right? You're going to want to know more information. That's good. Very, very good, guys. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher.
Okay, wonderful. I think I have everybody back. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, um, now that you've had the opportunity there of asking the questions, by the way, um, did you find out if your class, were your classmates satisfied with the product or not satisfied? In general, were they satisfied or not satisfied? My classmates are satisfied. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, who I heard somebody, I forgot who it was, that said that they ordered the product and it never arrived. Who was the person? It was a girl. I forgot who it was. Mm, Magali. Ah, Magali. Okay. Uh, what was, what is it that you ordered? Uh, I I buy uh, blows and but no patitos de hula así para el baño. No sé how do you say. Oh, like a rubber duckies. Uh -huh. Rubber duckies. Um, I buy in AliExpress. And never arrived my product. Oh no! Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. obviously you are dissatisfied. Did you get your money mm -hmm. back? Uh, yes, I, I lo solicité. Well, I, I uh, asked for it or I requested it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did they give it to you? Uh, not yet. <laughs> oh, not, not yet. yet. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully soon <laughs> they will give it to you. Okay, good. All right. So that's um, a little, we were looking a little bit about um, uh, using can and could yesterday, which are what we call model auxiliaries. And today we're gonna to be learning about another two model auxiliaries, okay? So let me share with you my whiteboard and let me know when you can see it. Can you see the whiteboard right now? Can you see the whiteboard? Yes, yes, I can see it. Okay, good, good, good. good. Okay, so today we're gonna to be looking at two different um, or two new um, model auxiliaries. And these two model auxiliaries are may, May and might. Okay. So may and might are model auxiliaries just like can and could. Okay. Um, and the difference with between the may and might is very minimal. Okay. Um, however, there is there are small differences, and I'm going to start with the differences first. Okay. Um, may. Or better said, we can use, we're going to use, we can use it for permission. Okay. Um, like we, if we're in, for permission, we use the word may. So I'm actually going to put, let me change this to. Okay, so with um, we use um, permission with for may. Okay, uh, example. Uh, imagine that okay when we were um, when we were when we had classes, um, you know, face to face before the pandemic. Maybe um, you would ask your teacher. Uh, you would ask the teacher. May actually, I'm going to leave it. Okay, you could ask your teacher, May I. 
I go, um, sorry, may I go to the restroom, please? Okay, may I go to the restroom, please? Okay, do you understand restroom? Everybody yes, understand? What's another word for restroom? What is a, a similar word or synonym for rest, restroom? Bathroom. Bathroom, exactly. So may I go, so you can say, may I go to the restroom, please? Or may I go to the bathrooms, please? What you're doing is you're asking for permission, okay? And right. your, your teacher might have said, yes, you may. Yes, you may. Okay, so that that is uh, for giving permission. Okay. Um, okay, so that that is one of the ways that we can use may, and that is not possible with might. So it's impossible to use might to ask for permission. Okay, so I, I I would never be able to say might I go to the bat to the restroom, please. We can't do that. Okay. And you can say, yes, you might, right? That's not possible. Only may is for permission. Sounds good? Yeah? Yes. Yes, sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um, now, that's basically the, the biggest difference, let's say. And the other reason why we can use may and might is for possibilities. Possibility. Possibilities. So this one, like I said before, can either be used with may and might. So this one is interchangeable. So we could say, for example, um, she, oh, let me just take away the, she may, get mad at you when she finds out. She may get, get mad at you when she finds out. You're saying there's a possibility that she will, that she gets mad at you when she finds out, okay? So it's like when you say, ella, ella, ella se podría enojar contigo cuando se entere, right? But, Something you must know is that because may and might are interchangeable when we're using them as possibilities, the other thing that I could do here is actually use the word may or I can use might. Okay, so I could say she may get mad at you when she finds out or she might get mad at you when she find, when you find out, when she finds out, okay? So both of them are possible. Um, and let me give you another example. Um, you um, now I'm going to make this negative now. Um, let's change the color. You may not find me when you come. Oh. 
So you may not find me when I come, when you come home. And like I said, it's interchangeable. Therefore, it's also possible to say not only may, but might. Might not. Okay. You might not find me when you come home. Puede ser que no me encuentres cuando tengas, right? So may not. That would be the negative. Okay? Sounds good? Yeah? Is that clear, everybody, or any questions? Yeah? It's okay. Okay. And, um, eh, okay, so basically that's how it works. Um, Teacher, uh, excuse me, I have a question. Sure. Uh, my is only for affirmative and negative sentence. Uh, we don't have my for, for a question. Um, yeah, yeah, you can make questions uh, with, well, it's not very common, but it is possible to make a question. Um, for example, I could, I could say, it's not common, but I could say, um, might they, might they be able to help me? Might they be able to help me? Right. So that you're they're asking um, is it basically is it, is it a possibility that they could help me? Okay. And in this one, actually, but what's what's interesting about the questions form is that um, you would with a question form you would probably only use the word might, not may. Okay. And what so. Basically, that's the only one. You wouldn't say, may they be able to help me? It's mostly might. Might they be able to help me? Okay. This is almost like you're asking in Spanish, ¿Será que ellos me podrían ayudar? Yeah? Okay. Okay. May, might, it's only for possibilities. And when you have uh, permissions, uh, and uh, is only may. Right, exactly. Yeah, okay. okay. Sounds good? Okay. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Let me, yeah. Okay, so like I said, um, this these two are the same in the sense when they're talking about possibilities, but may, it, or better said, for mission, you can only use may, and for questions, you would only use might. Okay? Questions okay. about possibilities, of course. All right. Let me actually write that down so that you guys don't get confused. Okay? Um, Okay, questions about possibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is it clear the difference between the two? Is it clear? No, maybe a little bit? Yes, the truth. Yes, yeah. I think it's clear. That's a matter of, uh... Using and possibilities made or made or might. Right, uh, you can you can choose. So they both mean the same thing. So I could say she may get mad at you when she finds out, or she might get mad at you when she finds out. You decide. You can say you may not find me when you come home, or you might not find me when you come home. 
So they're, they're interchangeable, you can choose. Just remember that, like I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned this before, just remember that when we're using um, model auxiliaries, we always, always, always um, use the verb in the base form. Like in this case, go, get, find, be able to. Notice it's base form of the verb. It's no change, there's no change. Independent of the subject. Notice that here it's I, it doesn't change. Over here it's she and you don't change it. You and you don't change it. They and you don't change it. Notice it's uh, might they be able to. It's not might they are able to. It's be able to because it's the base form of the verb. Okay, and that's a, that's a rule. That's 100% of the time, whenever you use model auxiliaries, we have to use the verb, the next verb has to be in the base form of the verb. No change, okay? Sounds good? Questions? Yes, it's okay. All right, any questions before we finish up? I can what answer anything you, you want, but you gotta ask me before. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think that would be all for today. Um, what I just need you guys to do, make sure that you are up to date in the platform with your homework. I'm not gonna send, I'm not gonna leave any other homework except that I need you to finish the platform. Okay, no, or not, but I said, not finish the platform. Finish the exercises up to now of the platform. So you should be in um, homework number seven. Okay? Okay. Any questions? All right, no, no, no questions. No. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. Um, I forgot. ¿A quién le toca el día de hoy? Se me, se me ha escapado. ¿A quién le toca hoy la, la... My goodness, hold on. I have it here. Just give me a moment. Um, ya les digo, ya les digo. Okay. So anyways, um, just make sure that you complete, um, that you have completed the, the, the homework one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, up to seven, okay? And today, um, oh, I have, today I have Alejandra. Alejandra, yeah, Alejandra, so we, I'll stay with you. Everybody else, that will be all for today. Take care and um, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Good night. see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. 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 Good night.
understand terms with explain my job. And I me tartamudeé demasiado, no supe qué decir. It's okay, it's okay, no worries. It happens, it happens, but it, the more you practice, the better you will get at it. Um, I so feel so nervous and I just, my mind is in blank. And, and I understand, okay. Um, so, Alejandra, um, what what was the, the what was the part that was difficult for you? And the part we uh, I can explain my job. The activity with my job is I don't find terms with explain what I do. Like the products, the one where you had the questions about the products. Yes. Ah. Okay. 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 All right. So in those questions, um, we were asking questions about could or can, right? For example, so Alejandra, what is your job? Where do you work? I, I am architect. My, I work in a company, constru construction company. A construction company, and you are an architect. Yes. So your service is to um, you know, the service of, of an architect, right? So you help people build their um, homes, you help you help people to build their um, their offices and things like that, right? Yes. Okay, good. So let me ask you some questions then. So, Alejandra, eh, at your do at your job, um, could you could you build a pool for me in my house? Can I design and, and I direct the operation with your pool? I can ex execute it, your project. Okay. Ejecutar in English. Oh, um, you can perform. Perform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perform. Okay. All right. Uh, good. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So in that case, you would be using the word can, right? So yes, you can say, yes, I can. Um, I can design it for you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, oh. Very good. And um, could you give me an estimate of how much it would cost to make a pool that is, um, I don't know. No, I meant that. Um, 10, 10, 10 by 10 by 10 feet long. Um, the full cost you know, around uh, 500, no, 5 miles of dollars. 5 what? But I said mil dollars, sería how, como dice? Thousand, thousand. Ah. thousand. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for Around a pool 5, that is 000. 10 by 10 feet. 10 by 10 Around. feet. Oh, wow. It costs about five thousand, six thousand, it depends. Okay, is it how deep? Uh, could you tell? Um, could you tell me how deep the pool has to be? Um, it's in your house, and no debe pasar como el, the limit of the 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 limit of the pound are is two or three meters. Two or three meters. For security. It can surpass, uh -huh. surpass. Surpass. Surpass, surpass. 10 meters. 10, 10 meters. 10 meters deep. Surpass. Surpass. S uh, already to the chat so you can see it. Okay. Sur surpass. There you go. Surpass. Surpass. So it cannot surpass more than 10 feet deep. Yes. 
If you have a child, if you have a child, when oh. if you not, you can build surface. You can as you can. Interesting. Okay, so if I have a child, then it can't be more than ten. If I don't have a child, I decide it can be twenty. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very, very good. Interesting. Okay. And um, good. Um, all right. Now, how about if you ask me about my job using uh, foot? What is more inter interesting is are you about your, your your job about your job? Good. Okay. Very good. Now, remember, I need you to use could and can. Ah, can you yeah. tell me what is more interesting about your job? Okay. You would say, can, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Um, can you say, can you mention? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me what is more interesting about your job? I think the most interesting part of my job is um, being able to interact with different people. So okay. I, I help different people uh, of different ages, different um, backgrounds. It, I, I, I work with so many different people and I think that's the most interesting part, okay. being able to interact with people. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell me how many years um, you are teaching, teaching? I have been teaching for 16 years. It's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, yes. It's a long time teaching. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, when, you, when you love it, you know, it's, it, it, I haven't, to be honest, I, I haven't felt that it has been such a long time. I think it's just passed very quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Another question? Um, for the maybe, could you tell me the word they, in your job. Repeat the question. Could you tell me, o sea, cómo, cómo puedo decir, cuál ha sido tu peor día en tu trabajo? Oh, in that case, it would be which. Could you tell me which? Can you tell me which has your worst day has in your job? Worst. Has been your worst day in your oh. job. <laughs> that's that's a very interesting question i'm oh my goodness i don't know the worst day at, at a job i can't i can't really think of a, a, the worst day at my job i think i've had moments uh where it's been difficult um, my job has been very difficult, but because my, my job changes so much, for example, normally I have one class and then I move to another class. And so sometimes maybe I've had a difficult moment, but then I go to another scenario and my world changes and then it's something different. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's never like, bad the whole day right it's just like maybe moments that it's bad and then um then i have a new class and i'm like oh yeah i'm, I'm and then something happens in that new class and and then everything is okay so i think um i wouldn't say that i've had a bad day or you know, I, you know I wouldn't say that no Okay, I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but good. I'm glad you're using that could and can. That's what very good. See, and I think um, I think you you have a you have the potential there to use um, the the vocabulary correctly. You just probably need to 
lose your fear. Yeah, I, I feel so nervous mm -hmm. when I talk in English, but um, technically I under I can understand all you see all you say, but in the moment and I can speak my mind, you know. Why? 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 I confuse. I first I translate and let and later I can talk and it's so confused. Yeah, and that's that's probably the thing that you need to you you need to start thinking in English and stop thinking in Spanish. Yes. Unless unless you want to be an interpreter, but other than that, you shouldn't be switching in the two languages, right? So it's just stick to one. You're you if you're speaking Spanish, think in Spanish. Like you when you when when you speak in Spanish, you're not thinking in English, right? Yeah. Right. So so it don't is. do the opposite, right? Don't think in Spanish when you're when you're speaking English because it doesn't work that way. Um, you know when. You, when you're in a language, stick to that language. If you're speaking in English, think in English, um, read in English, eat in English, watch TV in English, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> you know, everything you want to focus it in English, right? And don't think about how do you say it in Spanish and then I'm going to switch. Because if you do that, you're, you're going to be lost, okay? You've got to be able to think, oh, just simply, get into the language and don't switch it okay, okay. so my my suggestion for you is um don't don't like as much as possible resist the urge of going back and forth with the languages sometimes okay. we do sometimes we we start in english in the middle we we change to spanish and then we finish the the end the sentence in English. Right? <laughs> yes, right? I do. And, and, and that's All not the time. very much, right? <laughs> so resist the urge, even if you have to struggle and you have to go, oh, what's that word? What's that word? Even if you have to do that, just stick to English. Okay. okay. Consistency, consistency, consistency. If you don't remember a word have a dictionary or your translator or you know your cell phone next to you um so a very very good well there's a, they're very good um dic online dictionaries and um websites that you can go in and find good words to to translate also be careful with translators though because sometimes translators um only give you one word and sometimes it depends on the context which word you're going to use so just be careful, okay. but but stick to it. Like I mean, be consistent. You're you're speaking in English. Stick to it. Stick to it. Stick to it. And the other thing is, um, if you can, like at work, try to uh, to like um try to speak with other people that that speak English, even if maybe they are at a higher level than you. Okay. I know that sounds like it's, 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 it's intimidating sometimes, like saying, yes. oh, they, know, the they, time. Know, they know English and I, I don't know very much, but don't worry about that because if you challenge your, see, the thing is that if you challenge yourself and you put the bar high up, then you're going to, you're going to reach for it. But if you're, if you, the bar is right here, there is no challenge and you're going to, you're going to continue at the same level. Okay. Right. So don't be afraid of putting up the, 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 that bar a little bit higher. So if there are people in your workplace that speak English, even if they are at a higher level, speak to them in English. All the people live in my house speak English. All, all. Well, well there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, my brother, my yeah, oh, but, you know, and the and your house is even better because you know these people. You shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes around them. Yeah, so oh. take advantage of it. You know, there are so many people that I, I've had so many students tell me, teacher, I want to practice, but there is nobody to practice with. 
and you have that opportunity at home. Take advantage of it. Oh, okay. Get, I try. Get, tell, tell your family, from now on, I want you to speak to me only in English. And okay, you, I will try. See, you will see the difference in one month if you do that. If in one month, if you do that with your family of telling them not to speak to you in Spanish, but in English, oh, by the end of the month, you're going to be speaking a million words per hour. Trust me. Okay, I, I will For try. About your fear. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, all right. All right, Alejandra, it's, it was good um, to talk to you and uh, just keep it up. I know you, you have a lot of potential and I know you can do it. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.